Kind of hard to tell being inside how bright they are, but I think it should be plenty good. Tonight I'm going to put some lights on the 3410. It comes from the factory with a hole drilled in each corner to mount a light and with a grommet that goes through the uh, overhead roll cage here back to the instrument cluster. So hopefully this should be pretty straightforward. Here's the lights we're going to be installing. I got them from Northern Tool. I paid $19.07 with tax for them. I think they're supposed to be, what's it say on here? Uh, 1,050 lumens each, so 2,100 lumens total. So this cluster is held in by two random sheet metal screws. So we get those pulled out, and you can see there's like two spots here to get cut out. So we'll probably put our switches there. Uh, we don't have the horn, um, and you got these little light decals here. So I'm imagining there's going to be plenty of space behind it for that. Maybe we're lucky and there's some wiring back there too. Who knows? Oh, we got it pulled down, and um, we do have some extra wires. We've got this white one, an orange one with a little, looks like a ground end on it. And we've, down here we've got, oh, down here we've got a red and a blue. So we're going to have to get the test light out and do some probing around and see what we have here, but hopefully um, we can use these and won't have to run any wires. We'll just have to run a wire from right here to where it terminates through the grommet. So I skipped ahead and mounted the lights because sometimes you just need some motivation to get it done. Um, yeah, they're kind of cattywampus because this whole thing here is bent and twisted and kind of cobbled up, welded back together. And I don't see any point in straightening that because it's probably going to get bent up again. So what I've done is I've um, turned each of them inwards and I figured this one will shoot across this way, this one will shoot across this way. Because I don't know if it's kind of pointing straight ahead, if this is going to... It's probably stupid of me to think this is going to make a shadow. But I figure this way with them crossing across the machine, there's nothing directly in front of them. And they're both pointed down just ever so slightly. So, I think it'll work out good. I'm going to get it wired up and uh, we'll see how they work. So every wire back in there has a number actually printed on the sheath or on the, you know, the protective coating on it. And the insulation. Anyway, I found number 48, which goes to the flasher. Um, we've got 41 and 42, and 64, which uh, was the horn. Now I'm realizing that these dashed lines here, the dashed lines are wires that are not installed. It's for optional things that you may or may not have. So since we don't have the lights, the optional uh, wire to feed it is not there. However, uh, it is hardwired all the way to the back for work lights. It's wired for the flasher, for the um, for the horn. Everything's wired. All we have to do is get the power to where the switch would be. And if you follow the dashed, it robs power from the fuel gauge for the lights and from the water temp gauge for the um, horn. And yes, we could just steal it off the ignition switch. However, it comes out of the ignition switch and where was the fuse? At? Oh, here's the fuse. Here's the fuse. Anyway, this comes out of the ignition switch, and from the fuse, it feeds all these spots. I, I, everywhere you see this I, that's fused off of this here. So we're gonna go ahead and steal power. We're just gonna wire like the factory would because that way we know how we did it in the future. So we're gonna come over here, steal power from here, and uh, see how that works out. Alright, well I didn't film much of this, but what we've got here is a double pull, double throw switch, and I'll explain that a little more later. And the wiring here is these two yellow wires, they run up through the loom here, up through the harness, and we're going to take power off the back of the oil, or the, whatever it is, it's either the fuel gauge, or it's the water temp, I think it's the fuel gauge. We take power off that down to the switch, and from the switch, back up to the lights. And we have the ground wire coming down from the lights, and that will also go to the back of the fuel, of the, uh, fuel gauge. So now, I was saying before, this is a double pull, double throw. So on each side, there's a post, or a pull, here, 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 and here, here. So, in the down position, currently we're just running the front, the front work lights. Um, later on, 
I, I need to buy another set still, but we're going to hook up on this side um, work lights for the rear. And then you can see based on the picture, I think it had a turn knob like this where you would turn it and it would be hazards, hazards and what lights, or just lights. But we're going to push it up, nothing, push it up again, and the top will be just the front lights and the hazards on the back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Thanks.